I want to welcome everybody to our midweek faith lift. My name is Shannon LeBrun. Today is June 8th, 2022. It's Wednesday. I'm here with Reverend Doug Worth from right. Unity of Chattanooga. Right. Here Sen we are. Senior Minister Unity of Chattanooga. Senior Minister. Yeah, yeah. Senior yeah. Minister Unity of Chattanooga. <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely good to be back. Um, yeah. We weren't here last week. We had some technical difficulties, but we're That's back true. strong this week. And um, what are we talking about today? I think we need to start with... Um, the Sunday service last week. Okay. Yeah. You, you. Well, yeah, last uh, last Sunday we, we talked about the devil, okay? Mm -hmm. And it, it's not a heavy thing, mm -hmm. uh, but, but typically what happens is um, a lot of people who uh, come to Unity have friends and family, and uh, inevitably, you know, especially in this part of the country, people say, well, you know, what's your name? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. What church do you go to? Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of thing. That's a big thing in the South. What church oh, it you is. Go to. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm not, none of your business. But people really want to know. Yes, they do. The church and state is not really, I mean, I'm not, it's, it's kind of close here. Church right. and state, you know. I got it real quick, Doug. I'm sorry to get off track. But uh, I got involved, you know, I, I teach karate. Okay. Uh, I was teaching karate at a community center. And I got involved with the people there, of course. And they right. wanted to know what church I go to. Yeah. And, and um, they had pictures of their, their church in the community center, their reverend in the community center. That, that was kind of strange, you know. But, you know, that's just what that's just how they do business. Down right. There. Yeah. So it's, right. it's, it's not separate. Well, what church you go to is a big deal. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. And it has it has an awful lot to do about what social groups mm -hmm. you hang out with. Mm -hmm. And uh, depending on what social groups you hang out with, what's the political mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um Culture, connection, yeah. connection, mm -hmm. and culture, you know. mm -hmm. all of that. You know, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. uh, it's in this part of the country that's a big deal. So yeah. they usually ask you that. So the whole the whole point of that uh, service was just simply um, a lot of people who go to Unity mm -hmm. have have friends and family and uh, that go to other churches, other denominations. Mm -hmm. They're not familiar mm -hmm. with Unity, mm -hmm. and so they ask, "So what do you believe?" Mm -hmm. Well, we went through. Uh, six uh, different talks about what we believe. It's called the five principles, and then mm -hmm. I did an introduction, that sort of thing. Um, and that's all well and good. It's positive, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but typically what will happen is if you have friends and family from more traditional, mm -hmm. more fundamental, or more evangelical churches, mm -hmm. they're going to start asking you questions. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that will inevitably come up mm -hmm. is it has to do with evil and the devil mm -hmm. and, you know, because there's a lot of fear around that mm -hmm. in some of the evangelical churches or traditional churches. Um, and so I thought I would address it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this, this is what, this is unity's take on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from me personally, mm -hmm. this is what I think about mm -hmm. it. So the whole idea was to give people, um, just a little touch mm -hmm. of of what that mm -hmm. is all about from from my perspective, mm -hmm. and I've. Uh, well, I mean, what, I mean what basically, what you basically what I got from it is that um, there is definitely some some uh, entities out there. Uh, oh yeah. That that exist, um, and um, and it's it's it's. It's uh, just as just as easy as it is for us to get in touch with those positive entities, which is you know, right. this it's easy for us to get in touch with those evil entities. It is mm -hmm. if, but it again, it's all about our thought life, right. mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And and what we know mm -hmm. is that what we think about and how we feel about mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. that's the creative energy. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how we think is typically the male energy mm -hmm. and what we feel about something is typically the, the feminine mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. and those two together is the creative process. Mm -hmm. And so if, if you're thinking about the devil mm -hmm. and you're, and you've got a lot of fear around mm -hmm. it, you know, you're going to invite him right in right. To, mm -hmm. your, to your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to, you're going to open that door. Mm -hmm. Now I've read, uh, quite a bit, um, uh, from other new thought organizations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, and ask them you know mm -hmm. so what about evil and, and 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 typically what I believe personally the only difference between this dimension and the next is in the next dimension we don't have a body mm -hmm. all right okay. not right. a physical mm -hmm. body okay mm -hmm. we've got mm -hmm. an etheric body mm -hmm. which is the sum total of your consciousness and mm -hmm. your feelings and that sort of things 
And with the physical body that we have, we just, we can't see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can't connect with it, Mm -hmm. which is probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. But just as, just as there are uh, people who miss the mark, okay. And that's Mm -hmm. kind of the definition of sin, okay. Or error thinking. Mm -hmm. Just as, just as there are bad people uh, on the earth today walking around, we know who they are, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. That, that sort of thing. I mean, you've had so many shootings in the last couple of weeks, my God. Well, I, you know, I think you of know? what's going on with Putin and Russia, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, we've been through that, mm-hmm. you know, we've been through all the dictators, we've mm-hmm. been through all the, the guys who want to conquer the world, mm-hmm. and we know what happens, right. you know, right. inevitably that always fails. Mm-hmm. And so, so anyways, um, just as there are people like that, walking around today and manifest that that kind of energy Mm -hmm. so too that's on the other side Mm. all right Mm -hmm. so you just want to be careful um if you've got a prayer and meditation life if you're focusing on god if you um you know if you think about uh, jesus or Mm -hmm. mother mary Mm -hmm. or buddha Mm -hmm. or you know whatever your your, your faith are, right? your mm-hmm. faith and beliefs is if you're focused in that direction on the highest and the best you know that that's the best armor you could have mm-hmm. that is the mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. your thoughts are focused mm-hmm. in that direction you, you mentioned um last week about the um the, the seat the sower and the seats in the sower and you talked right. about how the, the different different the different parables and what each one meant like the thorns meant one thing right. and then if it's on like uh I think it was a bushes or something that meant another. Right. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember it yeah. exactly? Yeah, it's the um, parable of the sower. Yeah. Um, it's found in both Matthew and Luke. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's the 13th chapter of Matthew mm-hmm. and the 8th chapter of Luke, mm-hmm. as I recall. Mm-hmm. Okay. But basically, the parable of the sower, Jesus is talking to a large crowd. Mm-hmm. And he's talking to them in parables. And what he says, basically, is... Um, you know, if you want to reach the kingdom of heaven, mm-hmm. all right, mm-hmm. there are some trip wires. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the kingdom of heaven is just a consciousness. It's just consciousness. Right. A higher right. consciousness, right. And, and typically, unity's take on that is, is simply, there really is no heaven and hell. It's not a physical place. Mm-hmm. It, it's not even a, a specific dimension. It's not like when you die... There, there's Jesus, the and then you know, the hey, the pearly gates, gates, and there's Peter. You right. know, yeah. <laughs> welcome aboard, or the other guy. Yeah. You know, that's it's it's not like that. Uh, typically, what happens is when you pass over, then your consciousness, the sum total of mm-hmm. it, draws you in the direction of other consciousnesses. And other surroundings mm-hmm. that match that mm-hmm. where you were when you passed. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. That that's why oftentimes in the Bible Jesus will say, "If you endure to the end." Mm-hmm. Okay. Because there's people who've had great experiences mm-hmm. early in life, mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. devout, and then in they, the end yeah, they go they go astray. They go wayside. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know where are you when you mm-hmm. do, when you when you pass? But anyways, the parable of the sower. What he's saying is. Um, you know, how do you get to the good life? Mm-hmm. And he, he has four uh, mm-hmm. analogies. The first is um, when a sower, in other words, somebody is sowing seed, mm-hmm. you know, that's mm-hmm. a, and the seed mm-hmm. is the word of God. Mm-hmm. All right, that's the analogy there. The seed is the word of God. And so when you throw the seeds on the path and the birds come immediately mm-hmm. and, and eat, them. eat it, mm-hmm. what he's saying is that's when you hear the word uh, of God, but an evil entity mm-hmm. or thought mm-hmm. or uh, will come immediately and snatch that away. Mm-hmm. And, and you mm-hmm. haven't mm-hmm. thought of, mm-hmm. a bit about it. Mm-hmm. And then there was another one when, where he talks about um, it falls on uh, shallow, very shallow soil. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And it, and the seeds spring up, but then when the sun comes, mm-hmm. it, uh, you know, they, they wither because mm-hmm. they, they don't have, uh, they don't have any roots. roots. And the idea there is the person who, who hears, you know, the word mm-hmm. or the word of God or the teachings, mm-hmm. but 
you know, really could care less. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, that that really sounds good. Mm-hmm. I got something else to do. Mm-hmm. You know, that sort I of thing. I got some more things going on. Yeah, yeah. You don't think about it. It doesn't take root. Mm-hmm. And then the, the next one was the thorns, mm-hmm. okay, or, or the, the thorny bushes. And what he said was, when the seeds come up, the, the thorns choke them out mm-hmm. and nothing comes of it. And his analogy there was just simply... You hear the word, you get excited about it, and you think about it a little bit, but then you got to go to work, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, you're more interested in your career. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are my investments? Mm-hmm. Distractions. Yeah, yeah, and and mm-hmm. hey, there's a party this weekend. Mm-hmm. It's going to be mm-hmm. great, mm-hmm. you know, that mm-hmm. sort of... And pretty soon you're focusing on the material sides mm-hmm. uh, of of what goes on in this planet. And, and again, the thoughts and things just mm-hmm. dissipate. And of course, the last one is where the seeds fall on good soil. They take root mm-hmm. and they produce a hundredfold, sixtyfold, mm-hmm. or thirtyfold, mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the next parable right after that was called the parable of the weeds. Mm-hmm. And in the parable of the weeds, they 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 sow, um, you know, the seed. Mm-hmm. All right. And then his workers come back and, you know, everything is growing up. But Mm -hmm. he said, hey, wait a minute. You know, the good stuff is coming up, but there's all these weeds as well. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. now what do we do? Mm -hmm. And and what and and they say to to Jesus, should we go take the weeds out? Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, no, let the two grow side by side, because Mm -hmm. if you tear out the weeds right now, you're going to end up Mm -hmm. tearing out some of the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So let them grow to maturity Mm -hmm. and then. Uh, we'll gather up the weeds because mm-hmm. they'll be very easy to see, throw them away, mm-hmm. and then gather the rest in my barn. Mm-hmm. And the analogy there is that in this world, there is both good and evil, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. There, there's there's the Word of God, and then there's all this other stuff mm-hmm. going on, mm-hmm. So, and it's they're going to grow together. Mm-hmm. But if, you, if you're if you there till the end, mm-hmm. if you persevere... Mm-hmm then in the, in the end, this other stuff is not going to matter. Mm. Now, uh, metaphysically, uh, what some of the New Thought teachers uh, simply say is that, you know, once you do pass, the kind of the bad stuff just, that's not what you retain. You mm-hmm. retain the good stuff, mm-hmm. if there's any of it, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. the, the, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. So the, the whole idea there was to talk about the devil and mm-hmm. to talk about evil and, mm-hmm. and talk a little bit about where it comes from mm-hmm. and how it can affect us mm-hmm. and how we need to insulate ourselves from it. Mm-hmm. And um, one of the one of the uh, greatest New Thought teachers uh, that I have come across is Emmett Fox. Mm-hmm. Now he's no longer he's passed, mm-hmm. okay, but he wrote a number I, I of books. A daily, I hear the daily um, a daily word kind of thing that I have over here. Yeah, that I read every day. It's really good. Well, uh, Emmett uh, Emmett Fox um, around the world in a hundred, three hundred and sixty something like, around the world in something that, but it's over there. Anyway, go ahead. Well, he wrote several books. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of which was, um, um, let's see, uh, it had to do with the Beatitudes. Mm-hmm. Another one on the Sermon on the Mount, mm-hmm. and uh, they're they're tremendous books, and they they read very well. But mm-hmm. but basically, he said. You know, if if you want if you want a surefire way to hell, mm-hmm. okay, resentment and and criticism mm. are are the two things. If you if you mm-hmm. if you are always thinking in those terms, mm-hmm. what what's going to happen is that's going to go down into hate very very mm. easily. And when you get into that, and resentment you, is tied with for, for not forgiving, right? Pretty much, right? right? Yeah. Well, there's um, there's a uh, there's a phrase in, in Luke, and basically, um, I'm trying to remember it, uh, do not uh, basically compare yourself, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, and then uh, the rest of it is just, as you forgive and you will be forgiven, mm-hmm. you know, given it will be given to you, you know, that sort of thing. And so the idea is the thoughts that you hold in mind mm-hmm. are going to produce similar More, yeah. sorts mm-hmm. of thoughts. And if you get into hate, if you get into resentment, mm. uh, those, those sorts. Powerful, those powerful oh yeah, emotions. it's a slippery slope, man. You're going to the dark side. Yeah, I remember quick. those. I remember those days. Oh yeah. And I remember those days of being angry at a particular person for years and years yeah. and years and years. And 
Yeah, they they say that that stuff can create sickness. Biologically, oh, yeah. it can affect you. Oh yeah, no, no. well, it, there's the mind body connection. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. and so what happens is is when you're when you're thinking uh, those kinds of thoughts, that's that's going to yeah. that's going to go right yeah. down in your body. Mm -hmm. So you've got to you've got to be very careful. very careful yeah. about clear, that. Clear yourself of all that stuff. You know, Get and in. and one of the things uh, walk on fire. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that uh, that we talk a, a lot about, and that Jesus talked a lot about, and that New Thought talks a lot about, is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And you know, when when you're growing up, and when you first hear about forgiveness, you know, some of your first thoughts: Wait a minute, you want me to forgive that right. for what right. he right. or she yeah. did, or something like? It's it, harder when you're young, isn't it? It is. Why is it harder when you're young than when you're older? Well. I don't know, but it is. <laughs> but it is. I think. I think. I mean, one, little stuff. It's really hard to get rid of. When you well, I, th I. You know, the ego is just coming out. Yes, you know, for yeah. little kids, it's mm -hmm. all about themselves. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, even even Jesus, if you know, had some difficult trials mm -hmm. early in his life. Mm -hmm. There, there's a gospel out there called the Infant Gospel of of Jesus, or the Infant Gospel. And it's it's some old writings that never got canonized mm -hmm. and never got you know put in the, in the uh, New Testament, but it is out there, mm -hmm. and it and it talks about some of the stories when he was just a little guy, mm -hmm. and oh, wow. and he had, he had a tough time, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. he had he had these innate powers, mm -hmm. and if somebody really ticked him off, mm -hmm. he, <laughs> really. <laughs> Those are the old test. I mean, that's a part of the the uncanonized. Uh, yeah, yeah. Other other writers wrote about his right, life. Okay. Right, right, right. Thomas, but that's 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 one. Well, of the Gospel of Thomas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's more of mm -hmm. a, a a Gnostic approach, and mm -hmm. it's just sayings mm -hmm. that he said. Mm -hmm. But there's there are there are. I mean, there's the Gospel of Peter, the Gospel of Mary. Mm -hmm. They've just found the Gospel of Judas. Wow, uh, that's different. Mm -hmm. Did you read it? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about okay, it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very different. Really? Um, very well. Well, it, it puts a better light on Judas. Judas. Okay. What okay. that particular book says is Are we he talk about the devil. I mean, he's, I'm not saying he's the devil, but it's kind of. I mean, he did. Evil. Well, well, bas basically, what the Gospel of Judas says mm -hmm. is that Judas was was uh, very smart, mm -hmm. and he was he was also probably of of Jesus's. Um, Twelve disciples, disciples, mm -hmm. and people close to him. He was probably the one that more closely got the message. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. and in the Gospel of Judas, mm -hmm. uh, he says that that he and Jesus had a conversation, mm -hmm. and Jesus said, "You know, I need to, you know, I need to have this this crucifixion happen mm -hmm. for a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. And would you help me with it?" So mm -hmm. he was actually doing him a favor. Really? All right. That's what the Gospel of Judas says. Wow. Now the Bible has a whole different, different take on, take on yeah. it. All I mean, right. And do, do, they, do you think do you think that um, the Council of Nicaea, right? I'm learning. I'm right, learning right. right. Do you think they read all of those things and decided which ones? Did you think they read the, the, the um, Gospel of Judas? Do you think it was there? And they said, "No, we're not putting that in there. We're going to we're going to put this one, this one, this one." I think that's exactly what happened. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you know. When you take a look at it, the obviously the uh, the the Hebrews or the Jewish people mm -hmm. had their own writings. Right, yeah, yeah. They weren't interested in Paul's writings mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. some of these other things. Mm -hmm. um, they had their own stuff, and mm -hmm. so they're saying, "All right, this is the canon from our perspective," mm -hmm. and that became uh, the Jewish scriptures mm -hmm. or the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And then the Christians said, "All right, now what are we going to put in mm -hmm. there?" And what they chose to put in right off the bat, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. and Acts, mm -hmm. all right, right off, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they're called the synoptic gospels because they all tell the same story. Mm -hmm. And so if you want your movement to grow, mm -hmm. if you want to get the message out there, mm -hmm. you say, hey, look at this, 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 and this, mm -hmm. all right? And it all tells basically mm -hmm. the same story. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly enough, Mark was the uh, first... Uh, gospel to be written mm -hmm. doesn't have a birth story doesn't have a crucifixion story mm -hmm. and when you take a look at it well we'll get into this tonight mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. the way um, in, in unity 101 mm -hmm. but Matthew we got to do some housekeeping before we leave but we, we've gone over our time but hey yeah okay. yeah yeah we have but we always <laughs> yeah, do, yeah, we always do. <laughs> all right so so basically um, Matthew didn't uh, have a creation story you said 
No, no, Mark didn't. Did, okay. Didn't have a birth story, didn't, didn't have a crucifixion mm -hmm. story in it. Matthew was written to a Jewish audience, mm -hmm. and the whole flavor of Matthew was to try to convince, convince. the Jewish people mm -hmm. that Jesus is the Messiah, mm -hmm. or, or at least a great prophet, mm -hmm. and we should be combined, mm -hmm. all right? Didn't that didn't, and, and, if you, and if you look at it, now, um, Jewish hierarchy at that time was very male oriented. Mm -hmm. So in the Gospel of Matthew, mm -hmm. um, the angel comes to Joseph, mm -hmm. all right, the three wise men, mm -hmm. uh, that sort of mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. all right. So, anyways, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. the, the Jews threw them out mm -hmm. uh, around 88 mm -hmm. AD. Mm -hmm. And then after that comes Luke and Acts. Mm -hmm. And Luke and Acts were written by uh, Paul's disciples. Mm -hmm. We think it was Paul's physician, mm -hmm. but that was more of a, to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, Peter and James, James was a brother of, of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Peter and James stayed in Jerusalem and they, and they wanted the message to be Jewish, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Paul, on the other hand, disagreed with them on a couple of theological mm -hmm. uh, aspects. And basically, Paul said, well, I'm going to do everything else. I'm mm -hmm. going to go to the Gentiles. I'm going to preach the word. Mm -hmm. and, and they came to an agreement, and they said, okay, fine. And so Paul's message mm -hmm. was to the Gentiles. Here's where you, uh, where um, Gabriel comes to Mary. Mm -hmm. Here's where you see shepherds in the field. Mm -hmm. You know, that, mm -hmm. th that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole different message. Mm -hmm. And that's somewhere between 70, well, no, it's actually uh, 90, or somewhere around 90 mm -hmm. AD. And then the, the book of John was to a Gnostic audience. Mm -hmm. um, Those people that are unbelievers, pretty much. Well, no, no the, the Gnostics, no. Gnosis, Gnostics comes from the word Gnosis, mm -hmm. which means inner knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if unity is close to anything. It's agnostic? The, it, no, agnostic means no God. No God. Okay. okay. Not atheism, mm -hmm. but, you know. Uh, uh, so Gnosis uh, means inner knowing. Mm -hmm. And so if, if unity is close to anything, it's, it's an inner knowing. Mm -hmm. It's an inner spiritual search. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into that in a little more detail uh, later tonight mm -hmm. uh, from 7 to 8 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, at, at Unity 101 if, if you're interested in a little more detail on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so. a good way to, that's a good way to close this. That's a good way to shut it down today is to um, okay. segue into our, our uh, what's going on with the church. Uh, we got, like you said, we got the um, Unity 101 class tonight. At, um, from seven to eight. Right. Yeah. And if you want a link to that, um, let me pull up a um, email that you can email us, and we'll send you a link to that um, to that class. Where is it at, Doug? Where it is right there? It's up on your screen. Now. Okay. Contact you And you're going to be teach. How, how are you doing with the Zoom? You you you're doing pretty good with that Zoom stuff, man. Well, you're, I think I can get through tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do any videos tonight. Well, no, you're um, going to be fine. I'm I'm going to have a you know a PowerPoint mm -hmm. presentation, mm -hmm. and the nice thing about the PowerPoint is people can follow along and, and see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, there's some pictures over on the mm -hmm. other side, so mm -hmm. you, you know you can. It's a little more now. I would I would much prefer in an person. in person, yeah. okay, because yeah. I would have then handouts yeah. and, and other sorts of things. We'll get but back there eventually. But this is hopefully the, this 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 Zoom stuff is this, it's going to be like this forever. Even even if we go back to teaching. Even when we get together, we do our classes together. You're still gonna have to have Zoom yeah. classes. For people yeah. that's just online. Stuff like I that. suspect. Yeah. Now, the, the other thing too, uh, if you're interested, if if this, if our conversation uh, this afternoon and maybe tonight mm -hmm. brings up some questions that you mm -hmm. don't have uh, a chance to uh, to ask, mm -hmm. uh, then tomorrow night at six o'clock. Yeah, we have our spiritual our spiritual connection uh, group. Yeah, and that's at Food Works uh, in the upper mezzanine. Yeah, that's at um, Whole Foods. Though. Whole Foods. Yeah. Whole what did Foods. I say? You said Food Works. Okay, Whole Foods. Yeah, Whole Foods. I'm gonna, let me show them a picture of that. Um, yeah, we were there last week. We got no, that's dancing. We were. That's the uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the spiritual connection at um, 301 Manufacturers Road, Whole right. Foods. Yeah. Right. And what else we got? We got the. Um, well, and then this coming Sunday, uh, we're going to have a uh, kind of a. Um, the whole service is, is going to um, go around uh, people who are relatively new to you. Yeah, we have bring we have, some friends. Yeah, we have some expected visitors coming. Yeah, and that's just Sunday, and uh, we're going to have a, a service around 
this is new stuff, right? Well, it'll, it'll be kind of light. Um, the idea for people who are coming to Unity for a first time, um, you, often, you often wonder, what's it all about? Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. why would I want to come to, mm -hmm. to this church? Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of thing. And so we're, we're going to make it kind of light, and, and I'll probably uh, tell folks how I originally got involved with Unity, mm -hmm. what I was looking for, mm -hmm. and how those questions got answered. Mm -hmm. And... And, and took off from there. So uh, again, we'll, we'll make it kind of light, kind of easy, mm -hmm. time for ask, asking yeah. questions. No food. Well, we, have, we always have something like we that. We always have food. Yeah, we always have food. We gotta have food. We gotta have food. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we have our, uh, and then if you're interested in donating some non-perishable uh, uh, stuff for um, our outreach that we're gonna be going downtown Chattanooga, let me put that up here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have our, um, our outreach downtown um, in June, and so we're looking for some volunteers. So if you're interested, shoot us June fourteenth. That's June coming. Okay, that's that's coming up. Coming up real soon. Yeah, right. we're going to be yeah. downtown. Um, that's some good work. I, I was down there last time. I had a really good time meeting the um, homeless and and uh, ministering to them. Yeah. You ministered to some people. Yeah. I saw you. Yeah. I saw you. Uh, put well, your, some you, put some, you put your hands on something. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> no I'm I didn't do the I'm heel. Joking. I did, did not do that. Okay. Okay. You didn't do that. But, but we the, gave the, out some good material. We had some good pamphlets out there. Yeah. We people. Well, one, la one lady wanted some prayer work, mm -hmm. and so every was talking to somebody else, mm -hmm. and everybody pointed her over to me. So mm -hmm. I, yeah. yeah. So I was happy to do some prayer work with yeah. her. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, um, yeah, if you want to donate to our podcast, you, you can give you a, um, a link to do that. That's uh, go to unityofchattanooga.org slash donate. And those proceeds go to the church. It doesn't go to us. You know, we just go to the church. Other than that, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Take care. Thanks Have for a good joining one. us. Yeah.